everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And today is Wednesday. That means it is Pack Battle Day. Average Joe and I going at it, as we always do every Wednesday here on the channel. I do some sort of uh, battle with Average Joe with some different product every week. This week, today, we are battling over a select blaster box of uh, 2022 baseball. I do not open a lot of uh, Panini baseball product on the channel, but uh, I thought I'd do it this time for a couple of reasons. One is that it was on sale at the uh, local Walmart for half price, and uh, that seemed like a pretty good deal. And the other reason was I, I know that Joe is trying to make uh, a base set of uh, Select 2022, and it's only a 100-card set, so I felt like you know I'd help him in that endeavor, and, and hopefully I'll pull some things out of here that he will need for his set today. We are represented by the, uh, the Stoic Griffin. Uh, I'm going to play the Stoic Griffin, or the Griffin is playing me, I guess. And uh, Joe is represented by the Woodland Dragon scene here. I would like to get him in focus because it's actually a pretty cool, pretty cool sculpture. And uh, it looks kind of like Joe. Joe looks sort of wise yet ferocious like that. If you've ever seen him, that's just what he looks like. So we will be clashing, butting heads today, and we'll see which of these mythical creatures is the winner as uh, we open this up. <clears throat> if you liked yesterday's uh, rip, where I opened uh, some Panini football that only had 12 cards per box, you're going to love today's because this giant box also only has 12 cards. What is up with that? I, I don't understand that. I, I'm, I'm opposed to it. I don't like it, and I think this kind of practice should be outlawed in the hobby, but continues, uh, and nobody cares what, what I have to say about it, but uh, I'm sure that Panini will continue to do this for as long as they make cards, and, you know, I don't know, some people like that. We're going to Mr. Kershaw out to uh, help us get into this uh, box of select baseball. I think here is the uh, scene that I'm looking for. Yes, there it is. And uh, you can see just how few cards are actually in this. As always, please practice good knife safety. Keep those blades out of the reach of small children and mythical creatures. They have no business with knives of any kind. So uh, let's get in here. It's four cards per pack, a whopping three packs per box. There's going to be a lot of extra space in this box, I am quite certain. We could probably fit several small sandwiches in there. There's even extra space just within the little pocket that they've put the packs of cards. There's extra space. I mean, you could slide several things in there. You could slide like a video game cartridge in there. That would be awesome. I'd buy that. Um, and then these other spaces, you know, you could put some snacks in there, or, you know, some cookies or a small sandwich or I don't know. You could put a lot of things in there, but uh, Panini chooses not to. Instead, you're buying a box of air with a, a few random packs thrown in for good measure. So that's what we're getting here. Four cards, three packs. It all, it all works out. And hopefully we'll pull something really exciting because we're trying to beat Average Joe in our pack battle today, even though, you know, I... I suspect Average Joe will clobber us. He has much more experience with this product than me. As I said, he's trying to build a set. So uh, we'll see if the Griffin or the Dragon is victorious today. The packs have kind of a dark green tint that actually sort of matches the Dragon. So I, I have an assumption that Joe's Woodland Dragon will emerge victorious. We'll see how this goes. Pretty cards. Select makes pretty cards, no question about that. The things that we're looking for here are, of course, rookies, but also parallels. They do several different kinds of uh, parallels, and we'll see if we pull any of those. This is Enrique Hernandez for the Red Sox. Nate Pearson there with the Blue Jays. Pretty card. I like the uh, color match border. It's kind of a color match. It's close enough, I would say. And there we get something cool. That is Gleber Torres, and I think that is one of the scope parallels that are exclusive to the uh, Blaster Box product there. Very pretty. You can kind of see them reflecting the light there. Kind of nice to see that, put that in its own stack. And there's Raleigh Fingers, actually. I like that card a lot. That's a really nice color match green for him. And I uh, always liked Raleigh Fingers. He was kind of a unique sort of guy in baseball, not just because of his handlebar mustache, just kind of way he was. And it even says, always a fan favorite, which he was for me. So uh, pretty cool card there. I like that one. If Joe needs it, he can have it. But if not, I'll, I'll keep that one in the PC for sure. Let's see what our second pack, pack uh, brings. We should, I think we'll get one of these scope parallels in each pack. So that's kind of fun. And hopefully we will get uh, something really uh, neat, some sort of insert or something like that. Get that pack out of the way. We get Corey Seeger to start this one off. There he is, Corey Seeger 
for Texas with the uh, blue border there. And Alec Manoa for the Blue Jays, getting a lot of Blue Jays out of this box so far. And there's our scope parallel for this. It's a rookie card and one that uh, I thought Jake Berger was going to be a really good player in the league, and I'm, I'm not so sure that's going to happen anymore. I mean, the White Sox have a lot of really great young players, so I think that uh, Berger could still emerge with them. But uh, I don't know. I thought he was going to be... Uh, quite the success, and I'm not sure that's going to happen. But anyway, nice rookie card scope parallel. No complaints there. And we do get an insert. That is pretty awesome. This is the Moonshots insert, and this is Franmil Reyes from uh, Cleveland. The Moonshot insert. You can see the back of that. It says Moonshots and even has a picture of the moon. I feel like I kind of like that motif more on the front. The front is kind of Oh, you do get the moon there. I kind of didn't see that. I sort of missed that. Maybe you guys can see it better now that I'm showing it that way. But you do get the moon there. You can make more of that, in my opinion. But anyway, first insert card. So uh, that's a nice pull. And get to our last pack of this monster rip. Monsters. See what I did there? Um, it's not really a monster rip because it's only 12 cards in the box. Have I complained about that enough, or should I say some more things about that? I don't know. All right, let's see what we get out of here. Our last uh, pack out of this box. We get Giancarlo Stanton starting things off there. And uh, that's kind of a color match for the Yankees. Doesn't quite match their pinstripe color, but it is blue. So, you know, that kind of counts, I think. And then Miguel Rojas for Miami. And our scope parallel is Bryce Harper. That's a pretty card, too. I like the red going for a uh, sort of Phillies color there. I don't know what he's doing with his cap there. Is he about to throw that into the stands or is he exchanging it for a dry cap or I don't know what's going on there. He's also got the headband so maybe he just has decided he's going to be outlaw Bryce Harper patrolling the outfield. No, no, I don't think that's what he's going to do. Anyway, nice uh, parallel. Oh, Sandy Koufax. That's pretty sweet. Very nice card there and super mirrory. That is the select stars insert of the uh, Hall of Famer Sandy Koufax. That's a really pretty card. I like that one a lot. Uh, and this is uh, this is an insert. So uh, that's one that I will probably get to keep sending Joe all the base cards for his set. But uh, that's one I will uh, almost certainly keep. That's a pretty sweet card. I don't know which one of us will win because I'm not that uh, familiar with this product. I, I feel like I I pulled okay. I did get a, uh, a rookie uh, scope parallel and I don't know if any of these are parallels. Maybe that one is. Maybe the Raleigh Fingers is a parallel. I'm not sure. Maybe that red, white, and blue one is. That seems like that would be a parallel. I, I don't know. I don't know. Joe can tell me. I'm sure that uh, he will uh, inform me as to what I got here. And of course with these uh, cards, these select cards, they have different levels of rarity. This is Concourse. This one's Premier Level. So uh, maybe that one's good. I don't know. There's another Concourse Diamond Level. Wow. Diamond Level? That seems good. Concourse, and uh, that one's Premier Level as well, and then Concourse. So I'm going to assume Diamond Level is pretty good. I, I've never even heard of that uh, before. It looks no different than the other cards, so uh, Panini doing an amazing job of differentiating their, uh, their levels of rarity here. Get a magnifying glass and see that that's Diamond Level. I don't know if that's good or not. Joe, you'll have to tell me how I did here, or you guys really are the ones who have to tell me. Let me know in the comments if you think I won today's pack battle. Watch our video here on the channel and Joe's video on his channel, and then you let us both know in the comments. If you haven't been Average Joe's channel, you must have been sleeping like Rip Van Winkle for the last several years because I constantly am telling you to go watch Average Joe's channel, and I would really like you to. He's a nice guy, and he opens a lot of cool stuff. He often finds products that... I've never seen on my shelves here. He also has a Myers where he lives, so he gets to see their exclusive stuff too. So if you're interested in knowing what that looks like, Average Joe is the place to go. Um, check out what he did today. Check out what I did today. Let us know who is the winner, and uh, we'll see how I did. I, I actually don't know because I'm not that familiar with this product and don't understand the levels and feel like I pulled Sandy Koufax. That should be an instant win, but that's usually not how it works. So anyway, there you go. That is the uh, discompobulated pack battle today. Tomorrow I will be back for Anything Can Happen Day. That's right, we do it every Thursday, Anything Can Happen Day, and all kinds of crazy, uh, unexpected stuff happens on that day. I actually haven't decided what I'm going to do tomorrow. I have a few different options, and I'll choose between them for tomorrow's show. Friday, of course, Dorking with Dice awaits us with 20 vintage packs 
for us to uh, to go through and, and open up. So I look forward to seeing you for those two episodes. Hope you're having a great week. It's Wednesday. I hope you're uh, that midweek point and feeling like you're, you're doing well and getting through things and dealing with the heat that is uh, rampant throughout the U.S. right now and many other parts of the world. I will see you back here tomorrow. And as always, happy collecting.